everyone, what is up? We are here at the Mirage Hotel and Casino in the 360 view. Sorry about the airplanes up there. Anyway, let's get to the video. All right, this is their beautiful lobby. We want to take a look around. I don't want to move too much because our last 360 video was super fuzzy. So I just want to uh, do a slow little uh, takes like this. And then I'll combine them all together. This is their lobby area. Right outside of the lobby area is the lovely lobby bar. There's a little essential shop over there. And this is one of my favorite spots of the Mirage. When you walk in, this is what you see. Absolutely gorgeous. If you want to take a check up all the way around. Behind me you have and then that is the front entrance, the, that is the front entrance area. Right out there is where the volcanoes go off. And then when you come out of the little uh, wilderness area or whatever you want to call it, the jungle area, you have Heritage State and Slot World. I know it's your favorite. I'm gonna walk a little bit here. Slot World. I'll do a little bit more videos of Slot World, okay? We have this uh, sushi grill place that is right beside the steakhouse as well. We have this uh, restaurant and bar called Stack. Looks like they have a pretty big beer selection and uh, liquor selection over there. The Mirage is one of the venues that has not uh, reopened their uh, buffet area, so still sad. This place is an Italian restaurant, and I'm not sure if they're closed completely or they just are closed because it's is a Tuesday night. And then this little restaurant here at the Mirage is called The Pantry. Um, it is uh, only open for breakfast, I believe. So, so sorry we missed you. We'll reopen at 6.30 a.m. I'm not sure why, but this is their hotel area rooms. But it takes you straight into the essential shop. And you can go through here to get to the other side. So that's what we're going to do right here. I don't know why we always come through this way. We go through the hotel room area. Right. They got the huge Welcome to Las Vegas sign here um, at the Mirage if you don't want to go all the way down to uh, Mandalay Bay area. But this is their shop section and then on the way to the secret garden and uh, pool area. Some bath treats. On the other side of the bath treats are this cute little uh, coffee shop. I'm assuming they're open. Oh yeah, Monday through Sunday, 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. So just a breakfast spot as well. And here is their secret garden area that you would enter through to see the dolphin habitat. And then over here is part of their pool area. I don't know how much you can see of it. Now we know how to get here. The Mirage is next to uh, Caesar's Palace. You can see a huge building over there. And then you got Rio over there in the background. This yogurt shop here, I feel like every time I come here, it is closed. So I'm not sure what is going on with it. If it's fully closed forever, or it's just right now. This is a little bit of their uh, shop area. I'm walking slowly so it doesn't buffer crazy. But they do have a lot of comedy shows here. They have Love the Beatles, and they also have Shen Lim. I believe he is one of America's Got Talent. This little ice cream shop, look at that wall of chocolate. I don't know why, I'm amazed by it. 
Here is the still. It looks like a huge sports bar area. Looks like they have the basketball rounds posted there for the March Madness. Who do you guys think is going to win March Madness? Put in the comments. I'm gonna walk slowly through table games just because I'm not allowed to stop and record. $15 minimum on that crafts table, $15 minimum, $10 minimum on three card poker, $15 minimum. Looks like they're $10 and $15 minimum. Yeah, $15 on the roulette. And there's a um, three card poker is a $15 minimum as well. Oh, we gotta go over the high slots. Look how fancy the high limit slot area is. Super cool in there. And like I said, they do have the Beatles Circus Soleil show here. There's their box office and that entrance is really super cool. I don't know if they'll let us go up there because there's actually a show tonight. But look how cool it looks and everything. Pretty fancy. Anyway, they also have the little beetle shop right here. You can go in and get all your beetles good if you like. <laughs> and we're in Slab World. This area right here is called Center Bar since it's in the center of the casino. They have a few bars throughout the casino. You saw the lobby bar area. Behind me, or beside me, the cashier. Here you go. Turn in your tips. Or your tips. Cash in your chips. And uh, yeah. We got a few more table games right here. So I'm gonna show you what they got here. That roulette is. I don't know what the minimum is. It doesn't show me. This blackjack is 20. And that blackjack is 15. They do have this really cool non smoking slots for all of you non smokers, including myself. I never see anyone in these areas though, so if you're a non smoker and you actually go in here, please comment below because I don't think I've seen anyone ever in these. Besides a park MGM, obviously that whole casino is smoke free. They got TVs back here too. You can watch basketball and play in Slab World. I'm gonna do a slow walk around the sports bar here for you. And this will bring you over to where CPK or California Pizza Kitchen is looks like it has closed as well. Again, I'm not sure if they haven't reopened because of COVID or they're just closed on Tuesdays. Weird. Some places are only open Wednesday through Sunday. Or depending on what's going on in town. Here is their sports book area. They have all their chairs out getting ready for March Madness. Super exciting. I'm not sure who's gonna win. I actually don't watch basketball, so if you have any inside, or if you have any inside betting tips or tricks, let me know <laughs> who's gonna win or who you think's gonna win. This area right here is called Snack All Day Eatery. I believe you can buy a little bit of everything, and it looks like subs, ice cream, breakfast, sandwiches, all kinds of things. And it wouldn't be a true casino or Vegas casino if there was not a Starbucks. Now it's still open. On this side over here, we have Diablo's Cantina. It is reopened. And they are pretty busy in there tonight. The Mirage has this gorgeous waterfall out front when you pass through to go to the Las Vegas Strip. There used to be a little bar over on my left side, and it looks like it is currently closed. We're gonna go out here on the strip and show you everything. I've done a lot of videos, and I've included a lot of the amazing volcanoes. 
I'm sure I'll catch it one more time before they close, but this is where they have uh, the volcano show. It's already finished for the night, so I apologize. Um, we're not gonna catch it on this video. But this is the Mirage area, guys. So pretty. One of my favorite casinos. I love how it smells. I hope when the Hard Rock comes in, it continues to smell as amazing as it always does. There's the Mirage. I think they're gonna put the guitar though, right here where the volcano stuff was. But who knows? I'm sure the Hard Rock will make it look amazing. Hopefully they do some kind of cool show. This is where uh, all the taxi pickups are. Again, this will bring you right in to where the mermaids and one of my favorite views of the Mirage right here by the little uh, flower garden, whatever you want to call it. It smells so good. It smells amazing. This area over here are their poker and kino and blackjack video poker area. Snacks, the restaurant is that way. And we got more slot world over on this side. I'll do a little slow walkthrough. I know some of the machines are super bright and it doesn't really show you much. But this is what it feels like to be in Las Vegas. The casinos are so massive. And they all have huge gaming floors. And it's a Tuesday night, guys, in Las Vegas. I do want to tell you, um, plan to catch the volcano show a couple times because if there's wind, they will not uh, do the wind, or they won't do it. There's, it's got a wind sensor on it. So, I don't know. I like watching people in Slot World. I like watching them win. Anyway, what's the most you have won on a slot machine in Vegas or somewhere else? Put what city you won and how much you won in our comments. If you haven't, please like the video and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.